All right, everyone, here is my little how-to video on uh, my Pixel Spinner. I made this last night. It took about four or five hours, uh, and it took a lot longer to do than, than it should have, but uh, I made a second one today. Actually, I have assembled a second one today, and I'm going to put it together. But uh, before I put it together, I want to show you what I did to put it together totally, or to uh, all the parts and stuff that I needed for it. Um, first of all, um, I started with pixel strips from uh, Ray Wu, and uh, I got all I got a bunch of them. And uh, what I learned was um, these were these pixels uh, spinners were or the the spinners were left over from last year. For I've had them for two years in a display. And what I did was I just wrapped uh, incandescent 100 count lights. Uh, to them and I made uh, I connected them between the cross parts and they were four channels on Lightorama and now they're 40 channels on uh, uh, E131 out of a SAN device uh, actually I might be I'm probably using the uh, Joshua P2 uh, to run these this year but uh, anyway here is the how to first of all uh, I wanted to show you that the the PVC pipe that I'm using it's uh it's half inch and it's 21 inches long and uh, to make the center part I took two cross pieces I drilled through them and I connected with a bolt and uh, that's a that's like a that's the bolt uh, that nut has the uh, the silicone inside it so it keeps it from coming out and then I zip tied them together so that they wouldn't uh, so they wouldn't twist whenever they were up on the display now the the items that I used were uh, pretty much uh, some four core wire, which uh, I only need three core because I'm using 2811 pixel strips and there was only three nodes. Um, the way these came, they came with green, white, and red, so I cut the black wire off on each connection. Uh, I used uh, kitchen knife, uh, kitchen scissors to strip the ends of the wire a little bit and. Uh, pull off. You don't need to strip much of the wire off. Uh, wire strippers, I have some wire cutters and I have uh, needle nose pliers and um, and what I did was I measured the distance here. I found I had 21 inches so I added a couple inches. I added five extra inches so I have a wrap around from this side to wrap all the way around to here and then to connect to the next piece I added there's about four or five inches to play with here and uh, if I go over to the actual one, you can see how it comes down there, runs all the way up, and then goes and connects into here, and then goes down, and then repeats the whole process. So that's the basic of what I did. Well, whenever I measured that, I made a mark on my on my table here, my my bench top, and I have a start area where I just pretty much come down here to my wire box which has my wire and I put my start here and I run all the way over to here's the 25 inch mark so I go 26 inches and uh, cut it right there and that's I use the wire cutters for that um, I learned that it was easier to to make all my cuts and tin my wire first as opposed to cut the wire tin the wire solder it to a piece of pixel strip which took them incredibly long. Uh, this morning this took me maybe an hour and a half to assemble everything after I had uh, had gotten the pieces cut. And uh, what I did was I started with the uh, with a pixel pigtail, or the three core pigtail, connected it into the first string. I left the extras which are at the beginning of the string for uh, pixel injection because I didn't know if connecting two pixel strip uh, spinners together was going to be too much drain on the electric but it turns out that uh, no it works just fine now um, looking at the pixel strip uh, you can tell there's one two three four five five uh, pixels per leg so and there's eight legs uh, you could actually, if you wanted to, come back over here and you could put a third cross on here. Some people have done that and make them uh, um, 12 leg spinners. Uh, that would be incredible. That would be interesting to see it done. 
uh, but I really didn't have time for that. Um, right now, just to test with, I'm using this uh, pixel decoder. Um, I got it from Ray for about 16 bucks, uh, probably a little more with shipping, and uh, a little power supply that's just a little tiny guy there. Uh, he's my benchtop tester. And uh, pretty much that's, that's it. Now all that's left to do is to take my sections of uh, PVC, uh, run a couple zip ties around each end, and then once they're on the, um, on the ends, I'm going to use GE Silicone 2, 100% silicone sealant. And because I'm, on, I'm using uh, white PVC, it doesn't matter what color it is because I'm not worried about the color on this. Uh, it can be clear, uh, or it can be white, I guess it doesn't matter. And, uh, and then I have also purchased from Ray, these are actual extensions that Ray sells, and uh, I will be using those to uh, connect to the, um, to the controllers. So that's pretty much all I had to do to put it together. Um, so if you have any questions, leave, the com uh, leave your comments down below, uh, and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it out. Now, I, I will tell you a little bit uh, about these guys here. I screwed up and made some mistakes last night, and I learned from my mistakes. Um, I didn't solder, or I didn't, I cut too much off of the solder pad here. Here I completely cut the solder pad off. If anybody knows how to fix that, let me know. <laughs> There's four pixels there just waiting to be used for something. I mean, I could use these two at the end of a run if I want to, but they can't connect to anything else. But, uh, but yeah, I made some mistakes, and, and uh, overall it was a pretty easy project. So I uh, hope this helps everybody. Uh, have a good one. Thanks.